What's up everybody, welcome back to a Pokersmith with some numbers. I am A Smith and today we are celebrating the one year anniversary of the release of Obsidian Flames. Here we go, we've got this ETB going on here and hopefully we can snag that Charizard because let's be honest there's not much else going on in this set. So without any further ado, you know what to do, go grab yourself that coffee, stay awake, stay alive and most importantly please like and subscribe and let's get to it. Okay, so here we are with the Obsidian Flames ETB. Let's just get straight into it as always. And as I said during the intro, maybe I was being a little bit facetious with just being a Charizard in this set. Uh, so although like value for most cards in this set have gone down, um, there are still some good illustration rares in here. So we've got like the Nine Tails, which is quite a nice one gloom as well and there's a couple of us really um houndor as well is another good card to get but they are they are low value now and um, so it had um it had its big sort of push early on and was you know everyone was really into the obsidian flames and charizard and stuff but i think Pokemon may have overdone it a bit with the Charizard cards, really, to be honest. People are getting a bit tired, so they've taken a break from it. But we are here because it is the one year anniversary release date of Obsidian Flames in the UK. I did this with Paldea Evolved as well, the one year anniversary. And here we are with uh, Obsidian Flames. So let's just remind ourselves of the fun times we had when this came out. So you've got all the packs. There, we've got the nice, nice dice. So obviously this one is, you know, same colour to the the artwork, really. It's um, fire red, really, really cool dice. I quite like that one. And I always love, like, these, um, these sort of green teal dice as well. There's a couple in uh, Temporal Forces and a couple of others which are, are really cool. We have the Charmander sleeves, you know. Yeah, Valley Charmander, there's some cool sleeves. You have the code card there for you, the box code card, just for you. The promo card, we will take a closer look at that in a second. Obviously, you've got all your energies, blah, blah, blah. You've got your dividers. Once again, cool, just like the sleeves. And then more counters there. Let's put this to one side and let's have a look at this promo card. Something I want to say about this promo card is currently in the UK selling again for 10, 12, 15 pounds, um, closer to 15 if you keep it sealed. Uh, and yeah, looking good, very nice card. And I think the price of these has jumped because with the new um, Stellar Crown set, we are getting similar artworks with Squirtle and Bulbasaur. So again, just like the um, uh, Greninja box I opened the other day this makes up a third of the price of the box just this card now so uh, not bad going really so you, you already start to make your money back and then hopefully you get some good pulls so we will get to it now I just wanted to say that about the promo card go snag yourself a little charm under I'm hoping to get a few of those from um, Stellar Crown because uh, they look awesome the Bulbasaur yeah, looks awesome Bulbasaur's my guy uh, which one have you seen it yet which one are you liking the look of uh, it'd be nice yeah it's nice to have like a triple finishing off like a little mini set there so we've got the first pack magic i'm hoping for today here we go here's your first code card so as i said we've got nine tails gloom cool cards houndor nice card as well the full art Charizard, gold Charizard, I believe as well, is also somewhat valuable. And then, yeah, the uh, the big card, the big Charizard, Reverse Ordino and Dark Garai, Fire Energy. So not starting off strong here. All right, second pack. Here we go. So is anybody going to be opening up Obsidian Flames this week with the uh, anniversary? I'm not sure about um. Whether it came out earlier in the US or not, usually they're pretty uniform, I can't remember. But I know it says 11th of August here, so I don't know. 
I could be wrong, but either way, we're going to have some fun opening up uh, Obsidian Flames. And to be fair, when it comes to Obsidian Flames, you are just opening for fun. Because like I said, the value isn't quite there. Another hollow there of Gita. So you're kind of just chasing cards that you haven't had yet or that you would like to get. These packs are a lot harder to get into than the Greninja box the other day. So how did everyone do with the uh, ETBs of Obsidian Flames? So, uh, oh, damn it. So you had um, ETBs triple, pa triple pack blisters as well. They, I've seen some videos and usually they did quite well. Another Sinistee. Oh, and Gita again. Oh, this is not my week, is it? So we're zero in three, unfortunately. See if our luck will change this time. I need something. Uh, yeah, I snagged these boxes on a deal. Uh, there was a sale on, and I think I've gone for roughly thirty pounds. I don't know the exchange rate in dollars, but yeah, quite quite cheap for uh, an ETB, really. Altaria, Team Star Grant, and a. Houndstone EX. There we go. So first pull of the day is just an EX. Better than nothing. It's a good way to good way to get us going, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, also, how's everyone doing? What's going on? Are you enjoying the summer? Are you enjoying Shrouded Fable, or are you giving it a bit of a miss? Um, feel like the letdown of no ETBs being released, being delayed, should I say, hasn't really helped considering it was a set that people weren't too interested in. I don't know if that trend is changing. I know I know there's value in Persian and uh, Pezendipity. So it's worth opening if you're looking for some value. It's a small set, so chances are you might pull those cards. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not too keen on Shrouded Fable myself. It's a great player set, as I said. So, you know, Pleasant if he seems to be the his card. I know I haven't checked on the value in the UK, but in America it's roughly $10, which for an EX is pretty nice going. Togepi and a Clay Doll. This is not going well. One EX so far. Three packs remaining. Can we get something? Anything? Who knows? We will see. So, here we go. Clefairy. Oh yeah, the Clef is in this set as well. Clef illustration rare. That's a cool one. So there's three really nice illustration rares that I'm interested in. What about anybody else? What are you interested in in this set? Man. Maybe I'll see why people aren't <laughs> into Obsidian Flames anymore. If this is what you get from your ETBs, you'd expect at least at least one illustration rare, surely, from an ETB. I mean, eight, nine packs, whatever it is. Can't remember. And all I've got so far is one EX. But this is penultimate pack magic. This is where the magic happens on this channel. Although now I've said that, uh, I'll probably get nothing. So we'll see. We have got Trevenant. We have got a reverse Eevee. We have got a reverse Grumpig. And looks like another EX. It is a Vess Bequeen EX. So not the uh, greatest of pulls yet again. However, it is something. And we have one pack remaining. Uh, yeah, so last pack magic. Here we go. At least we got that um, Charmander promo. So if you go and buy pure value, I've made a third of my money back from this. But as I said, I think it's all about the fun for this set. Until you can't open a pack of cards. Yeah, so you're all smart. You're all on the ball, you know what the crack is of Obsidian Flames. 
So we've got the last pack. Let's go through it. Dolive. Time. Poo. Salazzle. We got a Lycanroc. We have a Overpass. A Reverse Wiglet. A. Oh, we've got something. It looks like Trainer. Trainer, is it? We. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, it's a Gita. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I am, as I say every time I pull a trainer card, I am uh, collecting a little mini binder of trainer cards. So this will pop right in there and it looks lovely, well centered. Corners are nice. Little bit of stuffage on the edge at the top, maybe. Last lot is a Gita Hollow. Let's check the back on this one. So this is the main pull of the day, so we'll probably just look at this. Yeah, a bit of a little bit of whitening. But yeah, nice card. Very, very lovely. I'm happy to have finally got something. I mean, to go through all that with just two EXs would have been uh would have been quite depressing. So there it is. Uh, so you can check out my last video, which was the Greninja EX uh collection box. And I am opening the Cedra on Tuesday or Wednesday. I have yet to decide. Uh, Monday's my day off. Maybe I'll record on Monday and release on Tuesday just for you guys. So once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed this little look back on Obsidian Flames. And yeah, uh, a little reminder on how difficult it is and how upsetting it is sometimes to not pull anything. However, we got a we got a Gita, so we got something, uh, yeah, so thanks again for watching, come back on Tuesday, uh, go and watch my last video with the Greninja, go check out that promo card as well, and I will see you next time, thank you very much.